Hey, um, regarding the missing boot, um, I'm looking in the outliner here, and one thing to know about this is that these icons, um, like the little this little icon of the red arrow pointing into the trapezoid, is um, uh, that's a group node, and this is a surface node, and all of these have been expanded now, like this. Um, and so there's nothing not showing an outliner here, and so I know that um, uh, this is the only surface in the scene, um, meaning that somehow the light got accidentally deleted. Because it's interesting that you still have the transform node um, of the leg, or a, a transform node, I'm not sure, or but the shape itself is missing. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I, it's hard for me to guess what happened in your scene, but it's definitely, it's not here. Um, it got deleted on accident somehow. Um, one thing while I was here is like, unless you want this sort of crease look here, I might um, take edges like this and this and um, slide them. Um, and you can keep that tight because I think you want that harder edge there, but I don't think you want that harder edge in the middle of the boot, and I think that'll help the shape a little bit. Um, you'll also, while we're at it, you'll want, um, I think you need another holding edge um, here, control shift X, and something like that, and then you might even want to push that in a little bit, and the way I would do that is right mouse click edge, double click, Control F9 will convert to vertices. You can also do select convert to where is convert selection. Sorry, right here I don't usually use this menu. Two vertices. Um, anyways, and then with the move tool, if you hold down the W key and click, you'll get this menu. And then go down the axis, still holding down, and then normal. And then if I uh, click and drag on that little N line, see it pushes them in or out. I just want to push those in a bit. Um, and uh, I might even want to do, maybe move them down a little bit too. Um, again, W, left mouse, just go back to object. Let me scooch that down. So you get a little bit more, and I still think it's a, I still think it needs more of a, I think it might, could use one, and this is becoming a bit of a problem area here. I don't think you want that to be on the, um, on the sole there, or do you? Well, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, probably another holding edge is in order here to get that sold to look like it has some a little bit more solidity yeah and you might even end up putting another couple more but although I might say don't do this until you know you really got the shape the way you want it because otherwise you just have a lot of extra edges to deal with but I think we're getting a much more kind of distinct looking sole you know separated from the rest of the shoe and then similarly, looks like you've got a holding edge here. I think you might need one uh, for uh, the bottom as well. But since that's there's no like edge loop to do that with, one other way is if I select all four of these and do uh, extrude and uh, scale that in a little bit, essentially does the same thing. And then again, I got a little bit more of a Oops, kind of a sharper edge for the bottom of that. Um, and you were asking, yeah, I guess I did kind of go over the different icons in here. Um, uh, these are sets which we haven't really gotten into and probably won't use that much. And I mentioned the group, obviously the camera are pretty obvious. Um, also, you can show or hide stuff here, so um, like 
you can show or hide shape nodes, which is sort of interesting. And then you see this is actually a transform node, and that's the shape node, which I know is a little confusing. But if you look at the object, um, here's the transform node, this here. This is the shape node here. And so, and then actually here's all the input nodes. So this particular um, object is made of many, many nodes, but any any object by default has at least two nodes. Um, so if I make a cube, it has actually right now three, transform node, shape node, and input node. If I delete history, Alt-Shift-D, now there's just a transform and shape. So every object has at least a transform and a shape node. And most of the time that doesn't really mean anything uh, interesting. And the, the sort of the shorthand is just to look at it as the two are, are kind of the same thing. And that's why this means, because you can't really have a shape node that's not associated with a transform node. So they kind of just collapse them together for the default view. And you're just looking at this as if it's a, the icon for a shape node, but it does have a transform node. It just doesn't separate them out in the outliner. Um, anyway, I hope that's clear. But yeah, the default has this off anyway, so you wouldn't even notice that. But there's, I guess most of the stuff, there's a few other things that could show up if in here, like assigned materials. You have to have the materials showing up here. You know, there's other stuff you can show in the outliner, but I usually leave it at the default.